All right, so let's see how we can install the 2019, um, let's see, uh, um, 2019 SQL Server 2019. So uh, we're going to go to this link, and this link will be provided to you through, um, if you go to the uh, YouTube video, the link will be there, and also in this document you can uh, get and follow the instructions here. So uh, I just copy and paste it here. Uh, the next thing we are going to select 64 edition. So here it is. And we're gonna click there. So here you are going to um, follow the instructions here, right? You're gonna download it here and uh, double click. And that is your we're going to select uh, Download Media. Download. This is going to take, this takes a while, so uh, do not do it if you are in a rush because uh, you're probably going to install the software errors and you have like three different types of software that you had to install that will work together. So this will be the server and then we had to install the uh, data tools. So the Visual Studio data tools. You cannot use the regular Visual Studio that you use for programming classes because it needs extra um, uh uh, features so uh, the seed uh, download success, successful and close uh, yeah uh, no uh, yeah no, no I'm sorry yes all right so here is the ISO we're gonna go down download this so here so I downloaded the ISO the image file so here I'm going to double click that and there is a setup here, you know, um, installer. So I'm going to double click that green arrow there. I'm going to select installation. And here I'm going to select the first one. We are need to install all of these other ones, but the first one will be the standalone installation. Uh, it has to be the evaluation. Uh, so the evaluation, you have this product free to use for 180 days. Once you finish the 180 days, what you need to do to continue to use it is delete and download it again. And then you're going to have 180 days uh, of the software again. All right. To download the software, you might be asked to fill the form. The only thing that you're going to do for the form is to fill your information as a student from CUNY, and you're going to uh, put the information of your score, and you're going to put that you are a student. All right? So here we're going to proceed with the installation. This takes at least 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the speed of your server, your computer. So here, that warning is fine. It's the firewall. Ignore it. Everything is green. So go next. Here is the part that we really need to concentrate because we need to select the appropriate uh, here. Do not select all, you don't need it. All right, so here we're going to select the database engine, another machine service, uh, full text amount search, maybe data quality, yes, analysis, data quality client, client tools, connectivity, integration services. Then in the bottom, we're going to select Master Data Science. Uh, let's see. Not, do, please do not select the machine 
learning standalone because I tried and gave me a problem. So that's pretty much it. Amy Klein Tuesdays the cake. Uh, that's it. All right. So next, make sure that you select those. And here we are going to select give a name. And I like to use just the name and the year of my server. So it's not confusion when uh, you want to find the name of your server and you don't remember. So this is it. MS SQL Server 2019. If I was installed in 2012, then I'll use the 2012. Do not use the new 2022. It's still beta, has a lot of bugs. So never use the newer versions because they come with bugs and you don't want in the class try to figure that out why the software is not working. So here it is we need the database, the analysis, integration, and the reporting. We are going to use <clears throat> another link. All right. Uh, here we mix mode and here we're going to give a password. Make sure that you have a password that you use for everything. And uh, here it is. And now in the bottom, we're going to add the current user. The current user is the administrator. So uh, when you, you should uh, write it down on notepad, your password, and here also take a screenshot or copy paste because you see that you have in parentheses Monique. That's my username for my computer. So when I logged in to my analysis, it's going to ask more for the username administrator and it's going can be found here, Monique. Now the password for this is not the one that you enter here. Is the password used for uh, your administrative privilege in your PC? All right. So here we'll talk about class a little more about that. So uh, multi-dimension and data mining tools. That's what we're going to select, and we're also going to add a user there. Next, and here is all of that. Uh, description, administrator, you can see the administrator here has a desktop, the username, uh, the name of my computer and my username, that's Monica. And I'm going to click install. <coughs> this is going to take like 20 minutes, so I'm going to stop this and come after this is finished. All right, so here we come back after... It was like 10 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. I see that everything was installed successfully and everything is going to start successfully, especially if you don't have any other version and you have uninstalled whatever that you have there. So it's not conflict with the registry key, with the path and so forth. So this should be fine. So here it is. I had installed the software uh successfully and i'll upload the video when i finish now in order to use this we need some kind of user interface to use the database so in the same installation center go so you did the first one so we're going to go here to uh install service manage to is what is that is where the database are um kept so here it is. Uh, so I am going to go in this page. Instead to click here to download the 2022, I actually need the 2019. So I'm going to go install uh, downloads 19, 3, and I'm going to download this link here. And here is my um, installer. I like usually I like to use the 2017, but it was so complicated to find the links for you guys to find the resources. So I decided to do the 2019 that has been a while now. So is you is working well. Okay, let me close this up. All right. So almost done. So let me copy this and put that in our next step.
So here it is. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and paste there so you know what you had to do. And I'm, yeah. Okay, just make sure that I am taping this. Okay. <coughs> so here is my second part of my installation that is installing actually the the user interface that's going to hold my databases, connect to the server. You can create queries, views, um, uh, views, queries, um, all of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to make sure that, okay, is in the correct, this is what I want, and I'm going to install. Thank you. This is fast. Okay, so I downloaded now. I'm waiting for the I'm down. I downloaded that 2019 here. I'll give you the link. Uh, this link here. That's the latest that go with the uh, server because it didn't match the 2017 uh, managed studio with a 2019 server. So I ran into a I ran into a problem. So I'm downloading this one. And let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to pause a second and uh, wait for the installation. And then I'll come back. All right. So I uh, install it. I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to see if um, I can connect to the server. So here is my data tools, server tools. I'm going to connect here. I didn't import the settings because I had a previous. So here it is the 2019 connect. It was perfect. So it was actually calling my older version that I have here. So the next step is, um, so we have the database. We had to do more installation, but before I move on, I'm going to need my database. We're going to use in class and I don't have anything. So let's go and find them. Uh, no, not here, right here. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, is supposed to be in, no, DW, DW. Database tools, data types. Uh, no. Oh, here's the driver. Okay, anyway. Database, adventure work databases. Let me copy this. Let me put this in a notepad so I can. can give you this guys uh, the link. Okay, so here's the link and here I'm going to go to the bottom, but I can only use <coughs> the same year uh, as my uh, SQL server. So if you're using the 2017, you found that uh, you could start the 2017 or 2014 or 12 whatever it is. So you're going to go here, you're going to, we're going to use the OLTP, that is transactional database and the data warehouse. So I'm going to click here in download and in the front, click here and download. So we're going to use that too. So you're going to have two download files. All right, that I, that's it is. I go to my folder here. So I have this two. I'm going to go and copy those, uh, from my download, you know, if you're using the Windows uh, 10, I use a Windows 11, so it's a little, some things are a little bit different, but pretty much it's the same. So I'm going to go to the C drive here. I'm going to go all the way to um, program files. Then I'm going to scroll to Microsoft SQL Server. Here I am going to select uh, the 2019 here. 
See? I'm going to the SQL 15 Our SQL Server 2019. Not the first one, but the second one. All right. So here I'm going to double click. And here I'm going to go to the backup. And I'm going to paste the two backup databases in there. So perfect. So I have those in there. Uh, so they are in my backup files, but you cannot see them he here, even if I refresh. Why? Because I had to restore them. So I'm going to go to the database. I'm going to click restore. I'm going to the device and I'm going to search for that database. One at a time, you cannot add two. So I'm going to say OK. So I'm going to add in the first one and I say OK that huge files and then i'm going to go to the database again right click restore device i'm going to search add and i'm going to add the second one okay and okay and okay so now if i refresh i have my two databases but one of my databases have database diagrams and if you go here, you're not going to see because you don't have permission. So you're going to go to your database. The last thing you're going to do, and you're going to do that with all the databases that you have, I'm going to add a permission. So I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to go to Files. And here, you see nobody owns this, so you have to give a permission. So I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to Browse. And I'm going to select System Administrator. That's it. So. OK. And OK. So now refresh. And if you open this now, you're going to say yes. And now you can see your diagrams. So perfect. So we're ready to start with our backup database so we can practice and we are diagrams. So this part is uh, done.